Hi everyone, welcome to Forensic Examination 6 Bits and Bobs Part 2. Um, in the last video we were working out uh, the pieces of the partition t uh, entry here. Okay, um, We're not going to actually examine this one and the reason we're not going to is because for some reason the numbers aren't adding up properly for that partition, I don't know why. So what I've done, I've prepared um, a 4 gigabyte thumbstick, alright? Uh, we're going to be working directly off the thumbstick, but um, the program that we're going to be using can also look at the evidence files, the digital evidence files that I've shown you how to make before. All right. So bear in mind this is a four gigabyte memory stick. Okay, that is important, um, and I'll explain to you why uh, in a sec. I'm going to be using the HXD hex editor. Okay, it's free, and it, it does the trick. All right. So. If I open uh, the disk image up, uh, sorry, not the disk image. The, this is the open the disk image is if you want to open um, your digital evidence files. Okay, to to look at the hex within those, that will work that way. We are gonna uh, open the disk. All right, and we, don't forget we need to do the physical disks. Okay, if you do the logical disks, let me just show you. Sector 1 is the start of the partition, okay? That is the NTFS partition signature. There, if that is not, that is actually the 64th sector on the drive, all right? Um, you need to look at the physical disk, which will include uh, those, um, your boot sector, your master boot record, sorry, okay. Now if you remember I said in the last video that the, the master boot record, okay, will contain boot code here, all right. Um, it's obviously not here at the moment, and that's because we're going to be using a thumb drive, all right. Um, it's simply because I, I haven't got the time at the moment to be um, formatting and, and playing around with full size hard drives, it just takes too long, all right. So, if you remember from the last uh, video, I said if you sweep in 446 bytes, all right, uh, and the counter is down the bottom here, okay, so keep an eye on that. We'll go in uh, 446 bytes, which is there, and the next 16 bytes, which should take us to there, that is the partition entry for the memory stick. Um, now you should realize as well that there appears to be a second partition. Now if you look at Windows, the removable drive is there. Um, however, uh, it shows that it is a 1.8 gigabyte thumb drive, okay? So there is a second partition on there, all right? Um, the first byte shows you that it's not bootable, okay? Um, and you can see that it's an NTFS uh, from, uh, NTFS partition, okay? Now, just so you know, because I didn't know, uh, Windows does not allow you to put multiple partitions on uh, a thumb drive, okay? Um, it You can do it using, I think it's called a Hitachi Microdrive driver, which you need to edit. Um, and that will allow you to use multiple partitions, but for the purpose of this video, we're not going to bother because I'm just going to show you a bit about data hiding um, and uh, or data recovering, like I said, if you're on the other side of the fence. So if we go back to my computer, there's our thumb drive, uh, one partition, and it's empty. However, looking at the, uh, sorry, go back in for 446, which is to there, okay, for... 64 bytes all right there's there is where your four part up to four partition entries could be all right um uh there's our first partition entry and there's our second one there all right which says there's a second partition on here windows can't see it if you were to plug it into ubuntu or, or a linux box it will see both partitions okay if you wanted to you could um mess around with the last four bytes which is the actual size which I'm going to do um, and that will hide the partition altogether all right uh, right okay what are we going to do next oh I was showing you sorry all right uh, there's our 16 bytes the last four bytes were 
uh, going to be the size of the partition. Okay, so if we just scroll down here a little bit. Right, if I was to put in now in hex uh, F030 3C00, all right, and go to decimal, that says that that's the number of sectors. Okay, now if you were to multiply that by 512, because obviously there's 512 bytes in a sector, that would give you that. All right, now if I was to divide that by 1024 to turn it into kilobytes, it will be that. If I was to divide it again by 1024 to turn it into megabytes, it will be that. If I was to divide it again by 1024 to give us gigabytes, it would say that I've got a two terabyte, or near enough, two terabyte thumb drive, which is amazing, because it's not. And I'll tell you why. These values here are recorded in little endian, okay? Now, You'll come across little endian numbers and big endian numbers. Okay, it's E N D I A N. Look it up. All right. Big endian means that you read from the most significant byte first. So that's the byte on the left. So you go from uh, left to right. Um, little endian means that you read the least significant byte first, which is the byte that uh, in a number is worth the least. It's the least significant, obviously. That comes from the right. Okay, so you read right to left. So what we need to do is put this in basically backwards. Okay, and when I say backwards, I don't mean 00, zero C3, 0, 3, 0, F. All right, each of these is its own number. Okay, so it'll be 00, zero 3C, three 30, zero F0. Took me a little while to get my head around it when I first started forensics. The number of times I did it wrong was unbelievable, but you will get used to it. All right. Now, obviously, it's dropped the zero zero because it's it's a calculator, so it won't. If I switch at the decimal, right? That's a number of sectors. If I used to multiply that by five twelve, number of bytes, divide it by ten twenty four kilobytes, divide it by ten twenty four megabytes, divide it by ten twenty four, one point eight gigabytes, which is exactly what we saw, you know, on my uh, computer window. One point eight eight gigabytes. Marvelous. Spot on. However. We've seen that there's a second partition. We've also noticed uh, when we were looking at the thumb drive, remember when we collected it as evidence or we examined it in our lab, that it's a four gigabyte um, thumb drive. Okay, so there's a missing two gig. So if we look at the next 16 bytes, okay, if we look at the last four again, praying this works. Uh, it is in hex, don't forget, 003C312E, alright, uh, which is that, you times again by 512, and then divided by 1024, kilobytes, 1024, for megabytes, 1024, for gigabytes, 1.88 gigabytes again, excuse me, phone's ringing, right, sorry about that, okay, uh, so as you can see, we have a second partition, which is also 1.88 gigabytes. All right, so that makes up our four gig-ish. You've got to take into account, you know, system files and the MFT and stuff like that. All right, so uh, we need to find this bloody thing. All right, now, like I said, if you were to put this into um, a Windows box, like you've seen, you see one partition. If you were to put it into... Uh, uh, a Linux machine you'd see the two partitions okay um, what you can do is if you take the length here and you can just zero it out all right sorry I've got it open as read only if you if you open it not read only you can zero that out so the partition information is there but basically what it says is it's uh, empty all right so it doesn't show up okay now then, if I was to browse to the start of that second partition, okay, so we need to look now at uh, the starting logical block address, all right? So that's eight bytes, eight to 11. Uh, let's get this back up here. So there's our first one, bytes eight to 11. So that's one, two, three, four, five, uh, sorry, zero. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, and we need to work out the logical block address. Uh, hang on for one second. Do they need to blow the dust off on this one? Give me a sec. Right, okay. What we're going to do is actually we're going to work out the first partition again. Uh, the first, the length of the first partition sectors again, and then just skip over that amount, okay? So it's uh, so look, like X here's 003C 30F0, which is 3944688 sectors, okay? So uh, let me just check that number in here. You can skip to the sector here, 3944. 688 uh, 688 three, nine, four, four, six, eight, eight. alright nothing what you need to do is if you scroll down because you need to take into account alright don't be fooled this partition entry here is not the partition entry for the new one alright and I'll tell you why at the end of the partition all right. At the end of each partition is, uh, it's like um, a duplicate. It's called a volume boot record, right? And that's a duplicate. You can ignore that. However, this is the start of a new partition. All right. Now we're going to go into the. This is a volume boot record. We're not going to go into volume boot records in this uh, video. Okay. Um, but what I am going to do just to show you is um, if I disconnect the thumb drive from my virtual machine and just bring it up in Ubuntu we should get two there's our two partitions okay and one of them has got an image on there. All right. Um, I guess the purpose of this video, uh, the last part of this video really, is just to say that you need to look at, pay attention to um, what is written on the, the the items that you see. All right. Like I said, this is a four gig stick, but when we look at the partition header, uh, part sorry the partition table, the actual partition entry showed us 2 gig. Alright, now when you connect this up to your forensic software, it may just show it as a 2 gig drive. If you just look at the logical uh, volumes, it'll just show you a 2 gig. So you need to really keep an eye on the finer details, like the amount. Um, what I could do, uh, let me just show you quickly. If I open hex editor again, this HXD, um, I need to connect this drive again, sorry. Alright, E. Notice again that it was empty. If I open the disk, uh, read only, removable disk. Yes, there's a warning there that you can, you're now able to edit at a hex level all the stuff on the drive. Um, if I take the first partition, which is uh, 16 bytes there. There's your second partition, okay? The last 16 bytes, uh, sorry, the last four bytes, if I just zero them out and save it, give me warning again, yes, and then exit, all right? Disconnect from my virtual machine. We should, fingers crossed, get one partition in Ubuntu. Now, even in Ubuntu, it's only showing one, all right? It's a good way to hide data. It's also a very important place to look when you're doing your examinations to make sure that what it shares on the disk, what is printed on the label or on your thumb drive is what matches up to the amount that you're seeing in your software. All right, okay. So that is it for this video. It, it has been a bit long. It's, it's a little bit boring, I'm afraid, but it is uh, it is important that you cover everything. Um, this is my email address. Uh, I haven't shown it in a couple of videos, but if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send them to me and I'll respond to every single one of them. 
unless they're nasty, in which case I won't bother. Um, but please do leave comments um, on Security Tube and on YouTube. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, keep updated on when I'll be putting these videos out. Thanks very much, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Take care.